All right, gentlemen. Last week on this lovely things, a few of you learned to pilot, and so have proficiency in vehicles, spell general. One of you didn't have such a good week. So, let us pick up where we left off, and if you want to give a quick summary, let's get a quick recap of where we're at and what the current goals and objectives are. So we shoved off in a hurry from our previous port because we were <laughs> under the investigation of some thugs, basically. And, uh, well, you know, the eat your mind alive kind of thug. <clears throat> so we headed out uh, to this double mission planet with uh, our choice to recover a spear from some brigands or to uh, rescue a lady from some pirates. Uh, we kind of wanted to do both. Thought maybe spear first. Uh, that was our last plan. Although we'll need to find out, you know, exactly where uh i don't remember which details of these missions we have exactly um we know that it's on the planet um generally the way these things go is that we need to find a contact locally we know the geographic region they're in right do we still want to do the spear first? I know that our captain was particularly more interested in rescuing a lady. And he's not wrong. I mean, the lady needs to be rescued. I say if the captain is more interested in doing that one first, we do that one first. I'm good with doing it first. What do you think, Yonovan? Um, I mean, we we thought the spear might help us with the rescuing mission, but it might not. It might, but it might also mean that we can't rescue the other mission. That's fair. These things happen, you know, so. And it may not be powerful. It could be a historical artifact of, you know, some religious value, but not actually powerful. Or it's cursed. Yeah, let's go get the chick first. Yep, All right. Too. So we need to find our sage named Feminis and rescue a lady. Have we already met the sage and the other? Yeah, the sage was back on port when you guys left. Okay. Well, what do we know about where this lady is other than pirates from the Sea of Edress? The primary, primary thing you guys know is that. You knew it was on the planet, and you knew that the mission was bringing you here. Um, the captain with his abilities in navigation, which is a skill that you all are still learning, uh, was actually able to get a little bit closer locations. <coughs> he was able to get the general location of the planet, but the exact location is unknown. Um, it's recommended to always check with the local. Okay. To find out exactly where, and potentially also find out the name of the pirates or is that their name is the pirates they're the just sea. pirates of the sea of address so it'd be good to find out which and what you can find out about them yeah and mention that you know they did take from them and find out do we know anything about this lady other than her gender and her name no I believe any of those details were requested or received. 
Yes, I know. We didn't. We, we didn't request these details from you at the time, so they don't exist. <laughs> she could be an orc for all we know. <laughs> she could be. This is hilarious how you run this campaign. Hey, it works, man. All right. Uh, I let's can easily tell you, but your characters wouldn't necessarily know since they didn't proceed to acquire the information. All right. Well, we need to get in touch with some locals in the general region. The captain can take us to. That'll be our start. Uh, upon you actually. <laughs> Talking with the captain further about it, he says, well, the Sea of Undress is actually a gaseous body in the system of Amadas. Gaseous body? Oh, it's, it's not on a planet. Huh. No, it's a similar substance you to the Pelagistic, but it's uh, a bit different. Luckily, so you know you don't have such problems with flames. Wait a minute. We're on a ship without weapons, trying to combat pirates who are now apparently space pirates. Probably because they're going to inhabit a cloud. Um. Uh, team. This. Yeah. Sounds <laughs> troublesome. <laughs> we we are not equipped to combat. Um, Can what's his name make the ship appear like it's a warship and scare them off? Well, scare them into surrendering the princess or lady. That's a fairly interesting strategy. Maybe we should talk to the captain about what he has to deal with space pirates. Actually, yes. He's already told you. What he he runs away. He runs. And what he tends to choose to do. But would he be up for bluffing? Let's go see. He has a catapult on the front of the ship and a ballista on the back. And he's amped his ship up on modifications that are to accelerate his mobility and thereby allow him to um, alleviate problems by no longer being present. Um, any chance we could make the ship invisible? Hmm. Or just blind to their eyes. Who knows? Maybe they've got a planet in the middle of that cloud over there. Any way we can uh, sneak aboard their ship without our ship getting too close? I know. I know. What is your method what is your for sneaking sneak onto their ship? I was wondering if maybe the captain had something up his sleeve, like a a stealth uh, rowboat. Stealth, stealth rowboat or a rowboat that you try to be stealthy with? I was thinking a stealth rowboat. In what In terms, what terms, do terms do you think stealth rowboat? Stealth rowboat? Invisible, maybe? Or able to be made invisible? If you can make it you invisible, can make it, it can be invisible. Uh, not on my spell list. Also, can the captain teleport us like our old captain did? <coughs> nope, he is not that kind of individual. Didn't think so. He's not a psionic specialist. Oh, but that doesn't mean he can't cast teleport. No, nope, it doesn't. But you said like your former captain. Similar to. Uh, no, he cannot cast teleport. Okay. So, 
Maybe we should go after the spear first, after all. Well, our captain is good at escaping. Right. Um. And you're all good at getting caught. So. <laughs> well, uh. We could go and just try to investigate and see what we can find in there, knowing we can escape if it's not amenable. Maybe we can find something we can infiltrate and land, like the goblin base, you know? Okay, scouting mission? Yep, scouting mission. All right, describe to me your method and your theory, your plan on scouting this area out. Okay. This is your decisions before you get to the place. I'll describe what you see when you get to the place and you can adjust your strategy if you need to. So it's some kind of gaseous area, meaning it'll probably have relatively low visibility. Think of it as... Uh, Nebula is much larger, I think. Right, right but like sci-fi depictions kind of, of people of. flying through Nebula. Is that uh, correct, Nate? From what you've gathered, do you think it's something like that? Okay, so we will be flying within the clouds, not on top of the clouds. Right. Right. So I think we fly in, keep an eye out, maybe skim around the edges, try to see uh, if there's ships, if there's uh, a base in particular, and whether we can, you know, approach it. Hmm. Sure. Though I feel like if I was going to build a base in the middle of a cloud nebula, I'd make sure that I could see through said cloud nebula or had sensors or something. You know, alarms. Yeah, we also have the... the well, no. Our lifeboats are very short range because they run out of air quickly. So uh, we don't... That's not a real option to play with. You I mean, learn a spell to make air? Yeah. yeah. You can go a little ways with them, but you're not going to scout out the entire nebula with them. Thing is, realistically, any any magic powerful enough to hide the ship will be way above our level. Yeah. So I think I agree with Cookie. Go pierce the cloud if we can. And then skim on the inside edge of it, looking for the base. I'm okay with a quick drive by. Yeah, I think that's. So you guys are just going to go the system and just quickly look at it. Yes. Second, I'm trying to find something to assist in the imagery that you're coming to. I'm slightly cursed. 
<laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Man, I should put that in the description of custom buttons all the time. Only slightly curious. Sort of YOLO. So, as you guys enter the system, you see that before you. Shoot it. Okay. It's just that kind of a nebula. In the center of the system. And that is all there is. Wait. There's not a planet? It's the system is a nebula? Well, you guys called it a planet is the only reason I actually put a planet there. I actually said the address system, if I remember correctly. Well, maybe you did before, but today you said Oh, I put that on Planet because, Amadas. Yes, I, I said that because that is what I heard someone else say that it was Okay. So I used what you chose to call it, not necessarily what it absolutely was called. Wait, are you saying that we created the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man? Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Was it a wisdom save or a Christmas save on the sword? I don't remember the details. Okay. It's in the DM's guide. Okay. It's called the Sword of Vengeance. Oh right, that one. I forgot about it. You guys do have a Sword of Vengeance. Yeah, we had got we had two of them actually. I I got rid of one. I kept the other. Um, you sold it the halflings. No, you bought one off the halflings. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, I bought one off the halflings, and we found another one. Um, okay. Actually, the one... Sorry, the one I have is the short sword of vengeance. Slightly less useful than the great sword of vengeance. <laughs> <laughs> to anyone who's only going to be carrying a short sword, going into combat's a weird idea. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Psionics would be a very powerful class. Hmm. And could be tanky. You can make them however you like. So... You see this when you enter the system. What do you choose to do? Well, I think that we want to approach it um, and see if we can see anything discernible in the cloud. Okay, so you're just going to fly straight in, get a certain spot on it. What's your kind? What's your thoughts? Well, my original plan was to get close and skim the edge. Okay. Like an orbit, if you will. Kind of a humanoidish shape, except for the legs. Are Are you going for like head, arms? You're just trying to do the whole thing. Um. Well, if it's in a humanoidish shape, I mean, it's the image then of here, give me a die. Oh, there are dice on the table. Okay. <laughs> uh, we go for the waist. <laughs> okay. So flying in waist high on this thing, at least you didn't come in below the head. You circled it. I mean, if we want to be honest, looking at that picture. <clears throat> Blow the bell. Um, 
I do 18 investigation and look for anything anything solid that we could land on. Have any asteroids, rocks, planets? Okay. Big enough. What did you roll? 18. Yes, you actually do. With your piercing vision, you're able to look and focus, and you see glints of chunks of ma um, physical matter in there. So it almost looks as though there is different asteroids, and some of them look like they have been flattened or somehow are flat. <clears throat> Interesting. Like they've been uh, mined or been settled or... Uncertain without further investigation. Because you're actually looking <clears throat> through all this cloud. Okay, I, I point them out to the pilot so we don't hit them. Uh, you're not going through the cloud, you're going around uh, it from what I understood. Yeah. Basically making a belt. Okay. Uh, I rolled a 13 to keep my eye out for pirates. That's a good idea. That's a really good idea. We should be looking. It would be a good idea since that's kind of which one of the things you're here for. Yay, 20 perception. I want to see what's out there. What's out there? Oh, well, you know, particularly things that are solid concentration of matter. Ships. Rocks, fortresses, sort of things. Okay, well, you definitely see two of those. I'm not sure about fortresses, but you do see the others. The rocks that you've mentioned before? Wait, or does that ships. mean you saw ships? Being vague. Well, if there's a, something to be seen here, maybe we should go in closer and see what we can find. It's probably the husk of all the dead ships the pirates have killed. Oh, that's comforting. Mm hmm You see those flat rocks over there? We might be able to land on those. Yeah. Or crash on them if we let uh, Yonovan drive. But why are there flat rocks? Well, if they're rounded, you can't put a ballista on them as easily. Yes, so mm -hmm. there might be those might be early warning platforms. They might be uh... Or they might be bases that we're looking for. I wonder how big they are. Okay. So yeah, you don't see any particular fortress that you see. And you actually pick out people that seem to have a plank. You know, like uh, planks, boarding planks between ships. It's kind of like yeah. a small plank bridge. You see one or two of those between some of the asteroids that are in there. Guys, asteroids <laughs> with planks. Uh, normal, right? speak, speaks to a fortified city of sorts, or definitely man-made. Uh, I would say that's worth investigating. Man-made, isn't that a bit xenophobic? Um, he is the only human in the party. <laughs> well, in the party party. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> But I mean, you're. Don't call me short again. <clears throat> well, so we go in closer. Can't even use the word men anymore. What can I use? <laughs> oh, <yeah>. Dang it! <laughs> I'm just messing with you. <laughs> Apparently, with this lot, children might be suitable. Uh, yes, yes. yes. Adolescents. Yes, Madison. I think we should go investigate and see if there's certain doom over there. <laughs> I like the way you think. So 
So as you guys head in, I need another perception check. Nineteen. Five. Um, it's natural twenty. Nice. <clears throat> Plus two. Cookie, you identified there's some shift that you saw, and Donovan goes ahead and looks, and he sees this. Heading in from another part of all of the... Towards somewhere in the chest cavity. <clears throat> Guys, you know, point it out to him. That's not good. I don't know. I think they look friendly. They don't look alive. <laughs> that, that's not good. Could a nebula have necromatic effects? Huh. It looks like a hammerhead. I was a hammerhead. Okay, so what was the location of that ship compared to where we're going? He said the chest. We were going towards the waist, right? You were going somewhere near. Probably would be closer to like the naval region, but yeah, not up where that is. It's still quite a ways higher than here. Okay. Higher in the sense of you know that picture. We do not want to engage anything like that. We can avoid it, it. Is the captain, is our ship fast enough to outrun that one while we still take a swing by these asteroids that look interesting? You are below these guys. Like, you know, like, got to got a quick glance as they came in and turned upwards. So they'd have to look down and around underneath them to see them. So we're being stealthy then. Okay. Depends if you want to get their attention or not. We tell the captain to run silent. He's like, what? what are you talking? Sorry. Wow. Okay. So you guys get to that little spot. You see, it looks like there used to be a few houses here or something. And it looks like an abandoned farm or something. We found a poor homestead. Wait. There's houses on this rock. No, there's more like a foundation to a house. How big is the rock? Small farmstead. Well, the two of them together is like a small farmstead. Huh. Like, do we see like growable land on here? You don't know. There's no plants that you can currently see. This is weird. Very. Maybe just the universe is weird. Okay. Um, well, you are breathing in outer space. I just want to throw that out there. You're right. So. Hmm. Well, it looks abandoned, but maybe it's not. Let's go land and have a look. Or if we can't land... Um... Uh, why don't we take out one of the skiffs Actually, rather than land? I have a question for you. Can the ship or the skiff land on land or water? 
I don't um, see why not. You told us it was a tradesman, right? I did say it was a tradesman, but what does Ryu know of a tradesman? Uh, well, she knows she's seen it from the outside, and she has actually worked on a couple of ships, or at least one ship. That is uh, like you could actually roll to see if your character's aware of the ship's capabilities. So, well, she could probably also roll some sort of insight check to see that there's something sticking out the bottom of the boat. <clears throat> so, let's see. I don't get to roll with advantage. I just get to roll with my uh, modifier, right? Yep. Int. Int modifier. So I got a, a 13 to figure out that, you know, there's something sticking out of the bottom of the boat. Landing on land probably doesn't work too well. You know, what you actually remember your mentor mentioning, some tradesmen are fairly common ships that are used. They were predominantly created by, you know, mostly humans, but everyone seems to be using them. Fairly cheap, readily available ships. And they tend to not land on water or land. Yeah. And I think I probably also know that choosing to land on water or land would cause some damage to the ship. Maybe not. Yeah. I think at least land might be obvious. Yeah. However, our skiffs are normal skiff skiffs, right? How would that work on uh, land? Uh, normally they don't weigh enough to be a problem. And you still would skip that. Oh, well, yeah, but we already did that didn't we, Yanovin? No comment. One of them. <laughs> you have mending, right? Yep. I'll never know. <laughs> that one still doesn't fly straight, by the way. <clears throat> it was like that when I got it. But Sounds like a good personal good. problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a skiff out to uh, see the. Was the uh, max people aboard a skiff two each? It's usually two, but you think you might be able to cram in a few more people and be tight. I say we take two of them. All right. The four of us try to go and land at this homestead and sure hope it has air. You'll find out quickly if it doesn't. Mm -hmm. As you start realizing that you're having difficulty breathing. So, you arrive. And you set your ship down as gently as you can. Let's roll and see how long you do getting there and landing. Who's piloting the ship? I'm piloting one of them. Okay. <laughs> Not it. Mark the points off. It's only three of you, so you could cram one extra person in. All right. Um, besides, without Mark, no one can fly the other skiff. Oh. Am I wrong? That's... Was there two skiffs or three skiffs? There's two. Then yes, you're correct. That's a um, uh, 17 on the roll, so we should be okay. Yeah. yeah. Did you say we had trouble breathing when we landed? No, I said if there's not air, you'd have trouble breathing. Uh oh. You'd notice that. Okay, but we would notice if the air was stale as well. That is what I meant by the first sign of having trouble breathing. That they are to get stale. Yeah. Okay. Would you mind awfully giving me like 12 D6s? I can. Are you going to try some wild magic? No, no. I just need to um, load up man. my mana for the day. 
You said how many? Twelve? Yeah. Nice. And what sort of level spell would you say it is to maneuver something this craft around? Say it last time. It's like two or three, I can't remember what I said last time. Well, you had us expend like two second level slots, so. Okay. Then yeah, I'd probably do that again. If you're going a little bit further, because you have more skill. All right. Done. That's about 10 mana points. So, um, is there air on this little? It seems somewhat stale, but yes, there is. Smells kind of musty. Hmm. Investigate around, especially any buildings there. No full building, just a kind of remains. Uh, does is there anything that happened to it? Do we need an investigation to determine that? Anyone else going to investigate with me? Yeah. Because I didn't do so hard. Rio will assist you so that you get an advantage, right? Assist is advantage, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that means you don't roll. Just he does. Hey, look, your assist was a, was a 20. Yeah. Uh, That's 20. why I assisted rather than rolled. Give me just a second here. Let me know when you can see that. I can see. Oh. Okay, that's, yeah, a really old foundation. Nothing there at all. Is there a cellar? Not on this one, yet. All right, so you guys check it out. We do see that there's kind of an area that looks like it used to have a fence or something there. Because there's, you know, poles proper distances apart. Anything else you want to do here? Well, if there's nothing here, we should head on back. Just a random loose end, guys, sorry. I thought there was buildings and maybe someone could hide. I didn't understand your description. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. There's a reason I use pictures. Mm -hmm. And it's always good to search for clues when you're trying to figure out the best way to sneak into an enemy fortress. Yeah. All right, so you guys head back to the ship, or you continue looking around. Head back to the ship, I say. Okay. Concur. Yup, yup. All right, so you guys make it back. What do you want to do from there?
Um, was there another rock to investigate, or was it mostly the same in appearance as this one? There was a few in this area. They all seem to kind of look like that. You can see right. more further away, but you can't really tell what's on them. You can't see. Not at this distance. Well, there's something further away. I say we should head towards that. Wait, something that wasn't a pirate ship or an undead pirate ship? Yeah. There's a few other then, yours. This wasn't the only one. So we docked with the main ship and then the main ship headed over there, is that correct? If that's what you were doing. Well, either dock or fly in close and maintain proximity also so we can refresh our air from the main ship. Oh, do you like Ryu? Yeah, I mean, good. Ryu hasn't really figured out if she needs to yet, but she doesn't want to find out. Uh, Ryu would know that she does breathe because she's inhaled and exhaled. Right, but I don't think she's suffocated, so she doesn't know if it's a requirement. She doesn't want to find out. No, no one ever does know that until they start understanding <laughs> what happens when air is not there. Yes, we definitely want to stay, keep our air supply topped up. Indeed. So you guys do that and head over to the other one. Now, you head over to the ones that are a little bit further, you said? Right, you yes, further. Below you, above you? Um, not above, because we saw uh, shippies above. If I thought there were further ones at our level that we saw. If, you, yes, they're, they're all over. I would investigate at our level several to see if we recognize a pattern. Okay. For instance, um, that this level means abandoned homesteads. <laughs> yeah, then give me a general int. See, that's like a mixed curse. You know I'm high on int, but you also know I suck at rolling. <laughs> Four. Wow. See? Okay. How did you even roll a four? I rolled a two, and I have a plus two mod. Because they I look don't fairly have... similar to the other one you're on. Different sizes. They seem like they may have different functions. Um, not a design that you're familiar with. Hmm. Well, let's go up and see a second one further away. Nope. Okay. So, you're going to which one? Make some others on the same level? Go yes, some there. others on the same level. Okay. You find similar aspects of flattened buildings. Uh, a few of them have some buildings closer clumped together. You're not sure the purpose. Hmm. Some have some higher walls than the one that I showed you, but none of them have roofs. None of them have fully standing walls. Okay. Do they look like the uh, product of neglect or the product of an attack? Uncertain. It's hard to tell. You don't see any major impacts, impacts. or anything that you would think of would be that. Uh, 
Um, quick point. Uh, what level should our new friend build his character at? Yeah, three is probably good. Um, no, it's been pretty slow. We're investigating. So I think um, I want to go to a lower level. OK. Everybody here OK with that? It looks like the upper level's occupied. Yep, sounds good to me. You going down like kind of like one layer or two layers? Go down one layer and see what we find. Okay. The buildings seem to have different function here. Um, roll a investigation check. Someone can. <clears throat> um, eighteen. Okay, you're able to find some prints here. These other ones above. You found humanoid prints. These you actually find more animal prints. Hmm. We find prints. I mean, do we? What else? There are various rock structures like above. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Uh, fewer, but there are a few. Um, are they abandoned? We just find the prints of animals? You just find the prints of animals. Hmm. I'm starting to suspect that what we want is higher on up. But I'd like to go down another level and see what we find. Okay. Agreed. I need you all to roll a con save. Oh boy. Um, <laughs> 15. Okay, you're good. Yeah, that is good. Rhea? One sec. Fourteen. Okay, so Ryu and the human and elven male on the crew, those three start uh, feeling sick to their stomach and start curling over the edge as you head this way and start getting a really nasty red smell. Oh, that smells disgusting! Turn around! Ugh. Yeah, let's turn back. They say something will start to happen. Um, huh. So it's almost like this whole, I'm going to call it a nebula for lack of anything better, is designed in layers with specific purposes. Um, although whether they're, they've been currently used by their inhabitants or not, it appears not, because we've got, you know, houses that have long since been destroyed, maybe animal housings that are long since gone. Um, <clears throat> so theoretically, higher up, we'll find the civilization nicer places, and uh, coincidentally, enemies. 
So how do we go up there without, um, well, getting caught? We know there's mountains somewhere in this thing. Yeah. Where would mountains be in this thing? How big is this nebula that we're in? Well, you kind of were at the waist. When you got down into the bowels region. Uh huh. Yeah, that's about all you've covered so far. So you all right. Maybe an eighth of its size, if that. Okay. So, anyone have a vote where you want to go next? Well, no. we either go up Towards or we move out of the region to hopefully stage ourselves for a better go at, say, starting at the very top. Hmm. I mean, you've, deser you've we've determined that there's kind of a hierarchy that the higher up, the better. Yes. And that down below is unlivable, so if there's pirates, they're probably not down below. Yes, this stands to reason. Um, but if we're going to go straight to the top, I suggest we go around the pirate level. Okay. Then, yeah, let, let's leave the immediate area of the nebula and do a circle on up and approach, you know, from above the head, approach, approach the head of the nebula. And I should kind of switch to the nebula. You did see that. It definitely impedes your vision. However, it is a lot thicker and harder to see on the outside to the inside. Okay. So we yeah, might so be able to stay see, inside. Might be able to see better coming up from the inside, huh? Hmm. You would be easier to see and be seen. All right. Wait, wait. But see and be seen? So, like, seeing from the inside out and from the outside in is both hard? Yes. So, we definitely we would have... have yeah. no benefit to seeing in or Right. If you're in the nebula, you can see in the nebula, okay. If you're out of the nebula, you can see out of the nebula, okay. So, inside the nebula, inside the nebula. From inside to outside is really difficult. From outside to inside is really difficult. Seeing outside and outside the nebula is quite normal. You can go in the So, we're better off. If we want to avoid combat with, say, the undead ship, we'd be better off being on the outside. But they could see us just as easily. No, no, he said if they're inside, they have trouble seeing out. Correct. But we also have trouble seeing them in. Right, so neither of us would be able to see each other. My thought is we go outside, we fly around them, because... Yeah. Where where did we lose sight of them? They were above us, but they weren't in the head. Right? Is that correct? It's hard to say, probably. I well, didn't you guys... get any real uh, beat on where they were.
better feel for it than we do. I thought that they were only in the chest area or lower ab upper ab upper ab abdomen. You're not sure. You saw them heading up towards the chest, but you don't know okay. why or where they went because then you lost sight of them. Right, but so we didn't see them in the head. They could have been going to the head, but we wouldn't know that. Yeah, you wouldn't know where. In that so they're up there somewhere. Rio's thought is if we leave the nebula and go the long way around, we could come to the head from above and we'd either fly right into them or they wouldn't be there and we would have skipped around them. But if we go from the bottom up through the body, then we're almost guaranteed to run into them. I think our best bet is to do an outside swing and approach the head uh, from the top where they stand the least chance of spotting us. At least that ship does. Right, they might have other ships. Uh, uh, yeah, go in at an angle that we can easily go out and run. So diving in straight from the top down probably is a bad idea, depending on how yeah. quickly we can turn. Do, 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 an, do an orbit of the head, you know, the, the standard approach that allows us to leave. I forget the technical name of the term, but uh, NASA astronauts love using those terms and making a uh, approach like that on Kerbal. <laughs> well, I mean, there's like uh, arrow braking and such, or gravity assist, but was there a planet at the top? I don't remember. I doubt we'll see any planets here. Yeah. But that's my there thought. Could be mountains somewhere, and that could be interesting. I'm curious what yeah. we find. Mm hmm Just you know, do a glancing blow across the forehead or something. Enough to punch through it, get a good look, and be able to continue inside it if we need to. But otherwise, just bug out. All right. So what's the final decision on what the plan is? We're going out and swinging around. So you're going to come in from the head? Yep. Yep. Okay. With enough angle that we can uh, leave the head if things look ugly. Okay. With what time it is, let's pick up there next week because if you guys right. do run into something, it's going to be quite a bit longer. Right. And yep. And this week, but we had a bunch of craziness and delays. Yeah. And we can have right. a fighter with us next time. Hopefully, yeah. So. Uh, maybe. And hopefully, Cleok too. Yeah. So, all right, gents. All right, later. Good night.